Hello YouTube. In this video I want to talk about the Gamo CFX. Uh, the Gamo CFX is one of my favorite air guns of all time because uh, it is really cheap for an air gun. I, th I think I paid about 175 euros for it. Um, it has an under lever cocking mechanism which I'm a big fan of and I will tell you why. Because uh, in the past um, we've had, Mickey and I have had some uh, brake barrels also uh, in the cheaper range about 150 to 200 euros and all of them had the same problem um, we thought that uh, the barrel the brake barrel doesn't always come back perfectly in the same place so it might be off uh, by half a millimeter or something but the bullet um, impact um, it's way off even with that small of a change and that's why I like this under cocking uh, under lever cocking mechanism because the barrel itself never moves so that's really nice it's really accurate um, it comes with fiber optics which I think are great you can adjust them and uh, they're very nice for when you uh, shoot without a scope. I fitted a scope to it because I, uh, I like that. And what I've also done is, well, Mickey has done this. He changed the trigger to a Charlie the Tuna trigger. My own. Uh, this is this is actually Mickey's CFX. I also have a CFX, but it doesn't have the trigger and it has a cheaper scope because I bought a more expensive uh, Diana but um, yeah overall this this gun is a very good bargain except for the trigger, the trigger is quite bad so I could really recommend that you uh, switch it with a Charlie Latuna trigger which is really nice, you can really adjust this trigger to uh, almost touch screen what I also like is this um, safety mechanism it's really easy to uh, to use just uh, this is safety this is safety off it has a nice click to it so it is really to uh, really easy to put on the safety with one hand or with your thumb only or no not thumb as you can see you can easily lock and unlock the safety. Overall I think the build quality of this gun is great. Um, this is uh, kind of plastic. I think it has a cool look. So yeah overall it's, it's a great gun. And uh, more important is the performance. Uh, I think it really performs very well. Uh, this one is in uh, 0.177 caliber. So, yeah, I think I'll show you um, what it can do. Um, about the gun itself, um, the factory states that it shoots at 280 meters per second. Um, some years ago that was still 320 meters per second, but I think that was exaggerated. I think 280 is pretty accurate. I don't have a a crony so I cannot uh, test the bullet speed but I think it's pretty accurate the gun itself is very light so that's very nice and um, yeah the, the purpose of this gun uh, I wouldn't go hunting with this uh, the caliber is too small but um, it's a really nice gun for your backyard. Uh, for 20 meters, it's perfect. No bullet drop or whatsoever. Of course, there's some bullet drop, but uh, cut a piece out, Martin. But uh, at 20 meters, there's almost no spread, so that is really nice. So yeah, let's take it down the range. So we're at the range, well, my homemade range. <laughs> uh, I'm using these Barracuda pellets because they're high quality. It's uh, important because you can get really bad performance 
when you shoot uh, low quality pellets. I don't like uh, the gamma pellets because their their spread is uh, pretty wide. And what I like about this gun is it's really easy to uh, to cock. Even a child can do it. I had this gun when I was 15 and I thought it was really easy to cut, so uh, that's good. And what I also really like about this gun is uh, the loading mechanism. As you can see, there's a gap that is shaped like a pellet. So you can, when the, when the gun is cocked, you can open this chamber, the bullet chamber. And you can just lay the bullet inside here, I'll show you. As you can see, it fits in there perfectly. And I'll just give it a little push with my, with my nail and it's in. Now the gun is loaded. Safety. Alright, let's shoot this gun. So that's where I'll be. It's about 22 meters. And I'll be shooting this uh, bullet catcher. All right. All right. Those are four holes, and this one is my fault. Went off a little. But yeah, four holes, and look at my finger size. I can cover this with the top of my finger. So this is really small, a very tiny spread. So that that is a great performance for uh, for cheap for cheap air rifle. Now let's let's check out the power it has. So first of all, we've got an egg. Now let's see if we can give this flippo guy a headache. Right, I have this uh, steel storm lighter and a iron uh, tin paint tin paint bucket. So let's shoot them. So, we shot them, uh, this is what one shot and this is what's left of the lighter, three separate pieces, as you can see it exploded, uh, on the side it's totally destroyed, and uh, as you can see in this paint tin 
two entrance holes and two exit holes so this gun absolutely has no problem of getting through this uh, this steel iron or uh, destroying a steel lighter and this was quite a heavy duty lighter it's, uh, it was quality so uh, I'll clean that up later but um, yeah overall I think the Gamma CFX is uh, maybe the perfect uh, in, ent um, entry gun it has great value and overall I'm very happy with it, it's accurate, it's uh, powerful enough it's a great uh, gun for shooting in your backyard, having some fun so I can highly recommend this gun if you want something more powerful uh, and an under, uh, under cocking under lever cocking mechanism uh, you could go for the Diana 460, I'm really happy with that gun and uh, that kicks much more punch than this one um, but it's also much more expensive I think this this gun is the perfect way, uh, the perfect gun to start with. It's very accurate, very powerful for a gun uh, with this price. Thank you for watching.